welcome back guardians let's jump straight into today's video which includes some iron banner armors some iron banner ships some iron banner ghosts that we are going to see in rise of iron alongside just a few other things like another ship and a new sparrow so i was flown out to gamescom with activision by activision to have early access to rise of iron so i got to play the new game modes of supremacy the new strikes and i got to experience artifacts and things of that nature and over the next couple of weeks you will see a bunch of videos around this content included a bunch of new weapons and new armors. But first of all, let's have a look at the new Iron Banner stuff, the Iron Banner armor. Right here, you can see on screen, we have the Hunter, Center, we have the Titan on the right, and we have the Warlock on the left. So the Hunter in the center, his actual armor, the gauntlets, the chest piece, the legs, they look kind of run down, kind of worn down, kind of decrepit. It features more chainmail than the other two sets of armors. And you know, you've got stitching on the gauntlets, you know, you've got the cloak and such things. It looks unique in comparison to the other two armors, which look more like shiny, more built up, more beastly looking. But I really am kind of jealous of how the Hunter looks. It's kind of subtle badassery. And the helmet itself looks like you've got two microphones coming one from each ear. It looks very much like a knight type of face, something kind of like out of a horror film too. It looks very different to what we see on Hunters right now. And I'm excited to see what else armors appear in the game for all of these, but especially the Hunter for some reason. I'm a Warlock player, so the Warlock there over on the left, you can see he has the Warlock bun shining with the actual icon of the Iron Banner. I'm not a big fan of the buns for Warlocks, even though they are my favorite characters. So, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed with the class item. The helmet doesn't look as great as I hoped that it would. I do like how the shoulder pads kind of look Titan-esque of what we know. It reminds me of like a paladin type armor. You've got the white sort of tabard down the middle with the chainmail and then the big shoulder pads. The gauntlets have the Iron Banner logo on, so do the legs. But I'm not super impressed with the Warlock armor at the moment from what we can see. I'm a Warlock player. I'm a little bit disappointed. Now the Titan, I think, looks the best solely because the helmet. The helmet looks incredible with the curly horns that come off the side and come down in front of the face. We have like a really emblazoned wolf armor on the chest and then we have wolf heads as the shoulder pads i think like they look the best out of all three of the iron banner armors so that is pretty cool and then we have the weapons so the hunter is holding a hand cannon and that hand cannon is called the lingering song now it's kind of out of frame so you cannot see it fully but from what i can see we have the white under barrel section which is like made of wood with the iron banner logo on so you don't get to see the rest of the hand cannon but it looks amazing the barrel of the weapon reminds me of the fawn and then you have this long pointy black spike on the front of the hand cannon it looks incredible i cannot wait to see what type of archetype in terms of a hand cannon that this is because i do feel like hand cannons are making a comeback and you will see why in the future of my videos so the warlock is carrying the unbent tree and i'm not quite sure what type of weapon this is i am not great at recognizing weapon types and what by what they look like but i would take a stab in the dark that this is an auto rifle regardless of what weapon this is it looks phenomenal one of my favorite looking guns in a long long time time it's kind of got that touch of malice look to it on the barrel of the gun again we've got that long brass colored fawn like barrel going across the center of the gun and then the front's got this like little kind of like knife spike type i don't know sticking up and out of it so it looks pretty cool i'm super impressed with the designs of these weapons and the titan himself is using a weapon that i have not seen at all through any pictures or anything and again it's got the same design and it's got more spikes sticking off it in different ways one at the bottom of the the barrel of the gun pointing down one pointing up from above the barrel so Whatever weapons these are, they look cool. The designs look amazing and the armors look great too. 
Next up, we have the Iron Wolf Shell, which is the Iron Banner Ghost. And I really do love the look of this Iron Banner Shell. It's the normal ghost style, so it's not like a different shape, but it has a very distinct color pattern. The bottom half green, the top half a whitey gray. It's got very, very obvious wolves printed on it too, and a couple of little spikes sticking out. It's gonna have all the usual perks that we have seen before. From what I could see, there's no new perks or nothing new that that a ghost can do but it definitely looks cool and i'll be aiming to get this as soon as possible when iron banner starts in rise of iron next up we have the iron banner ship once and future and the tagline reads the heroes of the iron banner are never truly gone so this is the iron banner ship and you can see that on the wings of the ship it has kind of like the tree emblazoned across it it's got that gold theme across the ship that you know we see across all the armors along the year two and year one armors that we have already seen and on top of that it's kind of based on the original ship that you spawn with it's the same design the same shape you know we just extra added oomph to it to match up with rise of iron and you know making it a special iron banner ship i am super excited for this ship it looks awesome it looks cool and I'm, i've never had an iron banner ship drop at all since i've started destiny i've just been that unlucky so hopefully this one drops me on my first game ever even if you have to be ranked two to get a ship i want this to drop when i'm ranked zero because i deserve it please and last up just a few extra little things to inspect while i was out in gamescom first and foremost this ship it's a legend ship probably from strikes or crucible it hasn't really been defined how you get this ship but it's this big wide massive blue and white ship i really don't like the designs of these like wide flat wide big ships but this one is pretty cool blue and white you know can't argue with that hopefully there's a different color like red and black please make them be red and black but you know pretty cool ship can't wait to see how we get it and what other ships are available to us and last but not least, the S39 Light Rider, which is a Vanguard Sparrow. So we have the orange and blue colors of Vanguard with this kind of like stripe theme across it, like you're going to see on a lot of the Vanguard armors and such things. So those are all the things that are coming to Iron Banner as rewards. Obviously, there will be more weapons and you would have seen pictures of a few more weapons, but I'm super pumped to see what Iron Banner will bring in Rise of Iron. So make sure you go into the comments and leave some comments. Tell me what you think about all this stuff, which is your favorite weapon armor which is your favorite ship what else are you expecting from rise of iron thank you for watching i've been easy now and you guys have been awesome and what would be awesome is if you're new here hit that subscribe button and of course that like button you help me out so much with your support i love you all thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video